Yeah, chains are not. You're right. Uh, you can. That's why I've made most of my money uh, chaining Dusty as the old speed run technique. I don't know if you uh, use that Shiraz against your friends, but it's a really good way to level up quickly. Uh, and it might give you an advantage. Because if you, yeah, if you use Vaughn to uh, farm Dustias and then get up to like level 20 and then let others join your party, you can have a level 20 party right out of the gate and just run through a couple areas. It's well documented. I'm sure if you're speedrunning the game, uh, you already know about it, but just in case. After I set it to 50%, I'm still maintaining basically 100% FP. Oh, I have Inquisitor now and uh, Martyr, so. Now I'm gonna have fewer and fewer MP problems moving forward. Oh, I see. So that's your that's your personal idiosyncratic obsession with RPGs. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I think I might be on the other side. Is it's like like it, you have to spend two kinds of money to survive: the HP and MP. And I feel like if you have MP, then basically your reserves of HP are infinite. So that's kind of, that's my take on it. And it's just a balance of keeping enough liquid MP, or HP if you will. Enough in the savings account to spend when you need to. I feel like an economic paper could be written on uh, the laws of Final Fantasy survival. Yeah, you're right. 
I tell you what, though, using a, an emulator with save states goes a really long way to not having a stressful playthrough of an RPG because I don't know, it's insane. Like, think about like Bethesda games, like Fallout. You can save anytime you want to. And yes, it almost like trivializes the difficulty of the game or makes it too easy, but I, thought, I mean, if you're like playing to have fun, then it's kind of ideal. Bare hands run. Oh man. Yeah, if you you should stream that. I would totally check that out. That sounds pretty hard. I think there's like a no hand bonus item, and like monks are pretty good no, no handed. Or I'm sorry, wearing or not not equipping a weapon. Got the serpent skin. For a save in here, we gain a couple levels. We want to write that to the record books, the history books. Yeah, monk build. Yeah, that's the way to go. Could you get? Yeah, monk's a great uh, solo run. Is it? Would you do that solo or uh, there are three barehanded characters? I think potions are dead to us now. We can afford high potions. Alright, so what is our, our hunt situation? Oh yeah, the uh, this guy. We should go take care of him. Solo monk for the walls. You're right. I mean, that would be totally awesome. That'd be badass. Let's see if we can get some self self gambits. I think one feature of IZJS might be that like every gambit is available at the store at the very beginning of the game. And an easy to navigate list. Grab this in case we ever do want to use charge, but it's not very good. Actually, I think you can just use that to ally any. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's if there's any more in uh, Arcadia. I think that might just be in Vanilla. But I think yeah, one of the features of the Zodiac Edition was all gambits available from the store at all times. I could be wrong. I know there's I know they're all available from stores. Like in uh, in Vanilla, there were some you could only find. So we're gonna head over to Rabinaster and get the Wraith. The whole problem with that was always beating him quickly enough. Oh, Aster, Asper, is that, uh, that's the one where if you have less than 10% MP, it, it has a chance of giving you MP. 
I find it to be too little to be worth the cast and would rather just use an ether. Yeah, exactly. I always forget where to go for this, but you have to go up to that store in the north part, so we just go straight north and then head over west. And here we are. See, the problem I have with Wraith is uh, it casts Doom and you have like a 10 count to kill it and get, and get out of there. So I, the few times I tried fighting it, I was pretty low level and uh, unable to defeat it in time. See, that's some shit. I think all we can we can slow it. Okay, so we're just gonna attack now. Oh he keeps missing with the doom, that's that's a good uh good bonus. Yeah, this is super easy now. And we just gotta get out of this room. Oh, heal him? Dude, that would have been so smart. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you know why I didn't? I tried throwing a phoenix down on him last time. But he was immune, and I didn't think to try healing. Jesus. Ugh. And who we talk to? Is it this guy? Mm. Oh yeah, he's immune to Phoenix Downs. Oh wait. Only regular mobs. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. They wouldn't want to make it like crazy easy. But there was an oversight with the Dustia, of course. Ether's good, I won't complain about that. Alright, so let's go to the 
Let's go to the sand sea and see if there's new hunts we can pick up. Can't beat this guy. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a moral gift uh, to help the help the folks of Ravenaster by defeating the hunts. It's those poor animals, though. I mean, you got to look at it from both sides. Mm. Feels kind of bad. Let's head to the teleport. I don't think we can take on any more hunts. Can't do Wevermore. I mean, again. Did I really never... Jesus Christ, really? <laughs> That's too funny. I didn't know you could go, I didn't know you could go further into the game. Wait, how did I get past that without talking to Tomaj? For real? Ah, oh, okay. I know you're right. There's there's some there's some meat to that about uh, you know the classes in the different cities. Yeah, Arcadia is definitely like a, it's kind of like the the capital of um, Hunger Games. It kind of reminds me of the elites live there. Okay, so let's zoom over. Let's zoom back to. Oops, I hit A a little too quickly there. I'm proud of my or orphan thieves. Uh, background. Dude, you're right. <laughs> oh, that's... Huh. Surprisingly accurate. I should have got the self any. That's okay. <laughs> 